What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and this is the all new 2022 Lamborghini Huracan STO. It is freaking amazing as you can see and we've got this super cool spec as well today so wow wow wow. What a day, what a car and what a man. What a man, what a man, what a man. Well, that's very nice. Okay, so today I'm going to show you around this awesome STO. I'm going to show you all the cool stuff that makes this car special, which is a lot. And then we'll take it for a little drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast, of course. Thanks to BOTB for sponsoring this video. For this weekend only, they are offering the Lamborghini Huracan STO. <laughs> So you could win this 270,000 pound car for just a few pounds. Now you should hurry because it's only in the lineup until midnight Sunday, November the 28th. And they are now offering 15% off over the Black Friday weekend. Or if you prefer something else, they have over 150 other cars to choose from and tickets start from just 45 pence. Links are in the description below. You have to be in it to win it. Good luck guys and enjoy the video. So. The Lamborghini Huracan STO, what is it? STO stands for Super Trofeo Homologata, which means homologation, of course. This is as close as you can get to a Super Trofeo car, which is a race car, you know, a GT car. Uh, it is absolutely mental and it is one step on from the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, which is already pretty crazy. So there is a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's start with what is it? It is basically your Porsche 911 GT3 RS. I would, I would classify it that way. The Performante is the GT3, this is the GT3 RS, which means that it is more for the track than it is for the road. And that is the first time for Lamborghini. Lamborghini never did that. They always kept that road going car uh, the most important part of it, even with a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Um, this is more track focused than that. So you can see that because we have a lot of insane aero. We have a lot of these very pronounced bumper parts, winglets, fins, vents, slats, slots. I don't know, whatever. It, it is absolutely mental. You, your eyes are just going over the car and you're just looking at all that cool stuff. Um, so we've got this carbon fiber splitter, lower part of the bumper. What is that? Is that, is that the mounting or what is that? That, that looks really cool. Um, so this carbon fiber down here with a radiator behind that, one there as well and one on the right as well. Uh, as you can see, we've got a completely different front end compared to a regular Huracan. And that's because we have these big air outlets, these vents in here, these ducts. This is to get rid of the heat of those radiators down there through the bonnet out in the open. And that also means that you don't have any storage anymore. So um, this is also one part. This is a clamshell basically. So this is one part of carbon fiber. Lamborghini calls it the Cofungo and there is a very trick way of opening it up. So you have to go in here and then there's a little key that hides right there this little triangle um, then you use that to turn it and then click it which opens it up yes it does so we do that on the other side as well turn it click it and that means that you can open up the entire front end of the body as you can see all carbon fiber that looks absolutely insane Hello. Yeah, yeah. So there's a little stalk here. You can use that to, I don't know, to keep that in place like that. Um, so you can see the air ducts down here. This is how they expel heat from the radiators outwards. Uh, you can see that storage though has been reduced quite a bit so there's 38 liters left. That's basically enough to store your helmet. That's basically what they kept. Uh, this is our smaller case. Uh, as you can see it's like it's made for it so maybe we should buy one. 
Wow, that looks absolutely insane. Just the drama of opening this up is so freaking cool. So, if you want to close it, you click it on both sides and then you use the little key. to close it up. Now you can see all the air vents here made there to reduce lift inside the wheel arches. So uh, air is expelled from the wheel arches here to reduce lift. Um, magnesium wheels also to reduce weight, of course, center locking wheels actually. That looks really awesome. And behind that we've got Brembo CCMR carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, these are like basically the racing car version of Brembo's carbon ceramics. Uh, they are insane. They, the braking performance is really, really good. And we've got Bridgestone Potenza Sport tires around that. Uh, you can choose between either the Sport version or the race version uh, of this tire for this car. So this is more like a road version and then uh, the race version is for track use. So down the sides, we've got carbon fiber mirror caps as well. Really beautiful. We've got this lower part here, the side skirt with, again, some air ducts uh, to take in air to a radiator at the rear. Uh, again, magnesium wheels, absolutely beautiful in that bronze color. So the weight saving for this car, this car, the body panels are 75% carbon fiber. And with those magnesium wheels, the, the windshield is a lot thinner as well. Those carbon body panels, it doesn't have four wheel drive anymore. So that saves 20 kilos uh, because you don't have a drive shaft at the front. It does have rear wheel steering as well, which adds eight kilos. And in total, the weight saving is 43 kilos, which is not that much, but I guess if it's in the right places, then, you know, it does help a lot. So same key for the engine cover. Click that. Okay, there we go. So that is the engine cover, all carbon fiber as well. As you can see with the fin in there and the air duct which is actually not connected to an intake. As you can see, it's just to get air into the engine compartment. Uh, 5.2 liter V10, naturally aspirated engine. This is basically uh, the Performante spec. So 640 horsepower, 565 newton meters of torque. So, this is insane. I'm just holding this engine cover with a beautiful carbon fiber fin and that air duct, and now I have to put it back. <laughs> I didn't really think this through. So, grab it at the fin, I think, and then put it back on top. Like that. So, this has to slot in there on that side. Like that, like that. So I'm an expert already. And that is secure. Okay, so now I know that we've basically cut everything out of here because that would take much too long, but that actually took me <laughs> eight minutes. Okay, uh, so that's not made to get off and on quickly. Uh, it's made to look cool. And uh, I guess the fin has a lot of aerodynamic effect as well uh, for cornering stability. Now, of course, we have this massive wing. We've got these fins down the side, as you can see here, that direct air into this little duct here and, of course, the rear wing. Now, we don't have the ALA system anymore, the ALA, Aerodynamica Lamborghini Attiva. So we just have a uh, passively adjustable wing, basically. So manually adjustable, three settings for the rear wing, which is absolutely gorgeous with this slot in here and these painted winglets, absolutely gorgeous. Um, of course, we've got a big diffuser as well, all carbon fiber, exposed exhaust, really, really gorgeous. 
So the spec, the color is Bianco Asopo. Uh, it's 10 grand. It does look cool, but I mean, it's white. And then in combination with that, we've got all those blue and black accents. Now we also have something called the SC pack, which means that we get those magnesium wheels, uh, the seats, I think, uh, fire extinguisher, the connected telemetry uh, with all the cameras and the track stuff and the roll bar. We also have a carbon fiber exterior package with uh, the mirror caps, I think, and this stuff, which is very expensive as well. And then we've got the most crazy thing is the livery pack, which is 29,000 euros. And it basically means that you've got this part in black, this part in black, and this part in black. And then apart from that, the, the stripe and all this stuff, I believe uh, you can, choose yourself so that's part of the up persona program at uh, lamborghini so you, you have completely free reign of how you want to spec your car that's basically that package i think that's how it works um, all right so let's get in to the car and i'll show you the crazy stuff in here as well so we'll get the little key back in its place and then in here, we've got a lot of Alcantara and carbon fiber. We've got these beautiful carbon fiber doors or door panels. Just the entire thing is made from carbon fiber. We've got these little door openers, a thousand euros, this option. <laughs> That's absolutely mental. Uh, this badge, 700 euros. So on this car, over 96,000 euros worth of options. That's absolutely mental, but that shows how crazy you can go at Lamborghini. You can just, you can configure everything. Uh, so we don't have floor mats. You can see carbon fiber down there as well. And the seats are, well, they are actually quite an improvement over uh, a regular Huracan and definitely over a Huracan Spider because the seating position is actually better in this car. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. STO logo on there. And we've got this individual interior stuff as well. Uh, and you can see the camera there. That's part of the telemetry system. You can see the fire extinguisher and the titanium roll cage. Yeah, it is something special in here. It's really, really cool. You can see here the driving modes. So you have STO, Trofeo and Pioggia. Uh, which is basically street, race, wet, I would say. But this car is a track car. So STO is already pretty, you know, die hard. So let's start it up. And we've got a nice screen here with all your info. So you can see your tire pressures, brake temp, really really cool and then we've got this four point harness but it's a really good one because you still have like a regular seat belt buckle right there so you just put that in there and then you secure these two and you're done so it's not as annoying as these harnesses are normally so let's take it for a drive uh, we'll put the gearbox in gear and we'll go for trofeo mode of course and we'll turn off traction control which is basically the best mode okay here we go lamborghini huracan sto on the road what is it like well of course we're going to do the tunnel first It just makes this car. It absolutely does. Uh, I don't care that it's the same amount of horsepower as a Performante. It is still as delicious as ever. So, so what did they do at Lamborghini to make the Huracan a track car? Well, as I said, they ditched the four-wheel drive system. So it's a rear-wheel drive, which completely changes the character of the car. It really does. It feels so much more, so much more Larry, you know? It, it, it feels like it's a bit more dangerous. 
And these tires, you really have to get some heat in them before they work. So seven speed dual clutch gearbox, still really quick. We've got MagnaRide suspension, MagnaRide 2.0. So it's a new version of the, uh, what is it? Magneto rheological dampers. Uh, so they are adaptive. We've got those crazy Brembo carbon ceramics. Uh, they made the brake pedal a bit longer as well. So you have, you can judge a bit better uh, how much there is, the, the, the travel of the pedal. It, it, it feels like the car, the turn in is a bit quicker as well, but that just, might just be me. But I do feel like the car, it, it turns in so quickly. It's really crazy. Uh, so the weight is about 13, 39 dry, which is pretty damn light for a car with 640 horsepower. dirty here too. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. So all the important bits, Lamborghini just turned those up to 11. Oh, ah, that gearbox is so violent. Oh my God. So they turned everything up to 11. And uh, that includes, as I said, those wheels, brakes and tires, magnesium, carbon ceramics. Bridge to Potenza race if you want. And then we've got that suspension that has been tweaked for this car. We've got stiffer anti wall bars, uh, mounting points, bearings, all have been stiffened up to make this car a track car. So top speed is 310 kilometers an hour. It just, 
it's no effort, no effort whatsoever for these brakes to to do that from 300 to I don't know what that was, 140. That is ridiculous. Oh, I love, I really love this car. It is very impressive. And it feels, as I said, it feels more track focused than I was expecting. It, it, it really feels completely different if you compare it to a regular Huracan. It really does. And it also feels different if you compare it to an SVJ because an SVJ is just too big and, and I don't know, it, it feels dangerous to drive fast. This, it, it really doesn't. Absolutely lovely. Oh, what a car. So Lamborghini are going to build as many of these as there are orders, basically. It's not a limited run, so... Lamborghini changed to make it, you know, a, a true track weapon. And then you drive it and you feel like you feel everything, you know? You feel like the turn-in is so sharp. You've, you've got that four-wheel steering system as well. The car feels so agile, so hardcore, and I really, really love that. I really love this car. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, so, I want to thank Lamborghini in the Netherlands for inviting us to come and drive this awesome car. They had it for like a week and uh, we got to drive it for 24 hours, so really, really awesome. Uh, to you guys, thanks for watching. We're back at the gas station, so I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.